Hello folks, this movie will be about a new project which will be an electrical fat bike based on a carbon frame from Carbomania. Uh, this conversion will be based on CYCX1 Pro motor and a 72 volt battery. So I will go quickly through all the components of this project and maybe I will do some recordings of the most interesting uh, elements uh, and their installation. I will present you the most interesting uh, features of this frame. Starting maybe from the bottom bracket. This is BSA standard, also called for that one, with 100mm width. Uh, the frame has a uh, full internal looting of all cabling. You can see exit of the cable uh, wire for the gearing. Here is the exit for the cable for the rear brakes. Here is the opening for the cable for a uh, front uh, derailleur, which we will not be using this uh, conversion. Here you can see the mounting holes for the water bottle and these ones will be used for installation of the battery. Going forward you can see the openings to enter the cables on both sides. Talking about the headset, this is uh, one and quarter inch uh, at the top and one and a half inch at the bottom. Fully integrated one. And the last element uh, is the axle system, which is through axle type. So I'll be using uh, rings. Based on the standard here, you can see both of them, the rear one and the front one, both of them are using uh, Fluxel standard. Here is the fork from uh, RockShock uh, Bluto type, which is also using this Fluxel standard. On the table you can see almost all elements which will be used in this build. Starting from the right side you can see the box with the CYCX1 Pro motor. I'll be using a 120mm bracket type. Here is the battery from a unit pack power. The specification 72 volt and 14 ampere hours capacity. Going forward, you can see a uh, carbon uh, steering bar. Uh, tubes for the tires and grips from XLC. I have two types of stems, the longer one and the shorter. I will have to choose one of them based on uh, <laughs> my di distance from the saddle to the steering. I'm not sure which one would be better, that's why I have two of them. I'll be using uh, SRAM uh, level T uh, brakes. Here you can see the seat post. This is suspension type from uh, Suntour called NCX. Very good one, uh, I'm really satisfied with performance of this. You can see the pedals matching the color of the frame. Here is the front light from Magic Shine. It's a very powerful one. Five lights and the power is almost three and a half thousand lumens. Okay, small pieces. You can see the clamp for the seat post. Some spacers for the stem. Here is the headset system with the bearings. And now I'm going to probably the most important uh, element of this whole set here. I'll be using a uh, quite unique uh, gearing system from Box 
company they are on the market probably for a year as I heard but uh, this is quite a unique system especially designed for electrical bikes they are advertising it as very sturdy one uh, what is interesting they are using only nine gears on the cassette you can see it here this is very big size they have the biggest gearing I think is 46 as I remember it's quite heavy pure steel when I read reviews people are saying this is probably one of the most uh, were resistant uh, cassettes on the market now that was the reason why I chose to use it uh, in this build I'll be using uh, 72 volt battery uh, so this will give a lot of power for the motor so I don't want to damage uh, <laughs> these uh, fragile cassettes like you know 12 speed ones here is the gear shifter also specially designed for electrical bikes you can see this letter E so the main feature of this is that it allows shifting on one gear at a time yeah. this will prevent uh, crisscrossing the chain of the cassette and it will extend the lifetime of the whole set uh, this whole set from Boxcar is coming with the special chain also designed for e-bikes yeah. the last element which I didn't mention are the tires I'll be using Surly Lu type 26 by 4.8 with I have been using them before on my Wi-Fi free fat bike and they are very good uh, very reliable uh, winter is coming so I'll probably have to change uh, soon them to the standard tires but for the time being they'll be alright you can see now installed uh, rear brake lever and uh, rear gear shifter and the cabling fitted through the frame here you can see the terminations of the cables we'll have to cut them in the proper length And install the caliper for the brake hose and the gear derailleur, rear derailleur. Sorry, that's how this uh, rear derailleur looks like. I can show it quickly in the operation. Okay. Rear brakes are uh, drained, so fully operable. I'll change also the braking parts. They last one season, so it's time to use the new ones. And now I'll be going to the installation of the motor. Modified motor, 220 mm uh, crank uh, version. So new spacers are installed. I'm keeping the old ones as spares. Here you can see spacers I'll be using in this build. I need around 20 mm total thickness. So now I just need to uh, assess uh, which direction offset I want to achieve to get the best uh, chain line crank is ready for pre installation 
Okay, so let's do this now. Okay, let's talk quickly about the chain line the measurements. It's not that difficult, but it's very important uh, to uh, assess it uh, beforehand before I install the motor. With appropriate spacers to avoid any potential uh, shifting problems later on. So the idea is basically mm, to measure the gap in the frame opening. I get 200 millimeters. So based on this, I know that the center, uh, the distance between the center of the bike and the right side of the frame is 100 millimeters. Then I'm going to the rear wheel. I'll check the cassette. What kind of distance we have? So starting from this point, you see it's five millimeters. And then the cassette thickness is approximately forty. Gonna measure it more easily when we are pressing the wheel against flat surface. Hmm. Not sure if you see it properly. So the distance from the wall of my fridge towards the last. Uh, Cog is around 45 millimeters approximately. So let's go to calculator. Here are the calculations 100 is the distance from the center of the back towards the right side of uh, the axle, 5 is uh, the small offset between the cassette and the axle end. The cassette total thickness is around 40mm, so I take uh, half of it. And that's the value of my chain line for this particular cassette. So when I know these values, 75mm, I just need to use these spacers to position the motor accordingly. Okay, now I explain how I uh, install the spacers or choose uh, which, uh, how many spacers on each side I need. So as you remember, I had a chain line 75 millimeters. The opening uh, here is 120. So this means that uh, the center of the bike is uh, 60 millimeter. Let me check here, the distance between this bracket and the chain ring is around 15 millimeters. So when you double, uh, add the 60 millimeter to 15 here, I get 75 millimeter offset. That means to get a 75 millimeter chain line, I need to put spacers equally on both sides of this bracket and then yeah I'll do the measurements when everything is stored in place just to be sure <laughs> what I get. Okay I have completed installation of uh, the motor and the battery bracket and uh, the speed sensor and the uh, display so I'll just show you quickly how it looks. I'm using this uh, material strap to hold the motor in place. I managed to tighten it very hard so it doesn't fall at all. It's very stiff. You can see the cabling, etc. etc. Just trying to keep it as tidy as possible. Here's the cable for the speed sensor. So 
and I glued this uh, display cable under the bracket. So here is the throttle and the display. So now I just need to finish the job, put all the uh, rest of the parts like wheels and other stuff. And then I will do some testing. Okay, folks, this bike is completed. I'll be adding some stuff, smaller one like additional lights or brackets. But time will come for this, so I will just go quickly through what I have done here. Starting with the cockpit. You can see the gas photo, the screen display. This magic shine light, the battery will be kept here in the back. I have level T SRAM brakes. Here you can see the gear shifter from box. It's a two type. And going further, the battery, the mud guard, the heart of the whole system, the motor. Probably you notice I'm using uh, no stardant uh, crank and I bought them from Lecky so this they were made basically uh, primarily for a uh, buff funk BBS HD motors but uh, it's perfectly this one as well so helps a lot actually to correct uh, the offset of the pedals so as you can see the right one is straight and the left one has 20 millimeter offset so this very good clearance between the ch this frame here it's not the chainstay I don't remember the name of this helmet as you can see the gap is almost two fingers what else? Mm. So suspension seat post, rear mount guard, and here you can see the cassette, and then this uh, back derailleur from box. This is uh, type 2, and the cassette I uh, bought uh, type 3. There is also type 2 on the market, it's bigger. I think 50 or 52 teeth, this one has 46 but I don't need such an enormous one and this one was actually a lot cheaper okay so that's all thanks for watching and let's wait for another project then